I hope you are as happy to see me as I'm happy to film this video for you. Hey up again, welcome back to the channel where we talk all sorts of online and IT businesses here. So if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon. And if you're a veteran here, welcome back to Afghan and make sure to hit the like button. Today we're going to be talking about Upwork again. Yes, don't let the title mislead you. I have been super busy with my core business and that is IT outstaffing and IT outsourcing business. And part of it we run on Upwork and Upwork has sent us recently tons of emails on all sorts of issues and we will try to go through all of them, but not in this video alone. Today we're going to be talking about 15 of the highest paying freelance jobs. There are tons of freelance projects out there specifically on Upwork and Upwork has sent me the rate of the 15 highest paying freelance jobs according to their data and we got to believe it. And to tell the truth, I did not expect to hear some of the options, like say copywriter, and Upwork claims that a regular copywriter on their platform earns from 19 to 45 dollars per hour, which is crazy. I'm not a copywriter, I have never tried to sell copywriting on Upwork, so I got to believe what Upwork says, still it's rather doubtful, but what I can believe, though, is that those copywriters are specialized in certain fields, say in tech, in medicine, in law, or in some other specific industry, which allows them to put higher rates. The next highest paying freelance job on Upwork is web designer. Like, not surprisingly so, but I was rather surprised to see it among the highest paying freelance jobs. And Upwork like says that the regular wage of a web designer on Upwork is anywhere between 15 and 30 dollars per hour, which is not huge and not skyrocketing, but still it's a pretty nice high paying freelance job. And as you might know, web designers help their clients to create websites specific to their requirements, or it might involve some updating of the existing website. And by creating, I mean design alone. The next in Upwork list of high paying freelance job is digital marketing consultant. Not surprisingly so, and that may include a range of services that digital marketer has to offer, starting with SEO, to email marketing, to social media marketing, to regular consulting, and everything in between. And the rates, according to Upwork, differ from 15 to 45 dollars per hour. Surprisingly, social media manager position is still alive and it did hit the upper list of highest paying freelance jobs with its rates from 15 to 35 dollars per hour, higher than a web designer has. And as you might know, social media manager is not about just posting unrelated stuff to a company web page, but it's also about targeting the right audience and coming up with the content ideas that are to attract that target audience. The next highest paying freelance job according to Upwork list is editor. And editors play an important role in the editorial process by reviewing and giving their comments to the written text, and they ensure that those texts meet certain criteria. Editorial processes are vital to produce high-quality content, and editors are vital to respectable, like, say, online magazines or respectable websites where the quality of the content matters. And editors' rates are pretty high indeed, and those differ from 20 to 40 dollars per hour, according to Upwork statistics. The next highest paying freelance job on Upwork that charges anywhere between 15 and 30 dollars per hour is web developer, and I have talked about how to become a web developer in that video of mine. In fact, that was our previous episode on the channel, so do check this out. But I do presume that $30 per hour are being charged by web developers who are full-stack developers, meaning that they work on both front-end and back-end issues. If you choose but one, say you're either a front-end developer or a back-end developer, probably your rates will be lower. Now, this is an interesting one. If you want to earn anywhere between 50 and 200 dollars per hour on Upwork, you might want to look into the direction of media buyer. Media buyers help businesses to determine the ideal ad placement to suit their specific budget 
and gold. Placement options might be numerous. They, may, they might include physical, print, digital and broadcast options of advertisements. Depending on the client's requirements, media buyers roles and responsibilities might include managing social media campaigns, social media ad campaigns. The next one in the upper list of high-paying freelance jobs is a photographer and that comes as a surprise to me, not sure about you. Because when it comes to average hourly rates for a photography project, their rates come to 40 to 100 dollars per hour and surprisingly the job opportunities are growing in this field and they are likely to grow for 15 percent by 2030 that is according to upwork now here comes data analysts something i know a little bit more about and their rates range from 20 to 50 dollars per hour and i can confirm this to be True. As a freelance data analyst, you will help your clients to analyze specific pieces of data to make certain predictions. You'll play a critical role in unfolding uh, or predicting customers' behavior based on certain data. Actually, when it comes to day-to-day -day operations of a data analyst, it comes to more than that. I can talk about data engineering, data science and data analysis like for hours and don't mistake one for another because those are three different roles. The position that I found interesting on Upwork is business consultant and it also hits the list of the highest paying freelance jobs and their rates range from 28 to 98 dollars per hour and again Upwork is a perfect place for that. You can charge on an hourly basis, you can package your services and provide say one hour consultancy or two hours consultancy or whatever. So if you have specific skills that certain businesses might be requiring, that might be a very nice place for you to go and you can make up to $100 per hour. Now, programmers play an important role in today's digital world and by writing code and producing apps and creating all those amazing things we are currently using. But their rates are not like crazily high. They, are di they differ from 15 to 30 dollars per hour, again, according to Upwork statistics. Let's talk about another high paying freelance job on Upwork and that charges from 15 to 30 dollars, the same as any programmer or designer job does, and that is videographer. Now, videography involves both capturing events and editing those events, and filming and editing skills are vital for success for this particular career on Upwork. And I talk from experience here because when I've been trying to find, say, video editing jobs on Upwork specifically because I've been exploring that field as well, I couldn't find many that like charged more than $15 per hour. The regular rates were like from $10 to $15 per hour. But when it comes to videography, meaning that you have to film something, to edit something and then to package it as a project, then the rates go higher and you might receive as high as $30 per hour indeed. Surprisingly for me, the next one in the upwork list of the highest paying freelance jobs is accountant. Who could have thought? Because on average, accounting projects don't pay extremely well. They charge anywhere between 12 and 32 dollars per hour, depending on what type of job does this client require. Another surprising job on Upwork is virtual assistant, because I didn't really think that Upwork is a place for virtual assistants. Typically, they are being located elsewhere, say in Facebook groups, but still, an upward list of 15 highest paying freelance jobs, it ranks one of the places and virtual assistants on Upwork charge between 12 to 20 dollars per hour. Not much compared to other positions, but then the uh, skills tag is not excessive and this is something that anyone can start. Another interesting job on Upwork that charges between 50 and 100 dollars is public relationship manager. I'm in the wrong line of business, I think. Public relationship managers help companies 
to develop effective PR strategies that play an important role in the company's positive image. Like regular duties uh, might include, say, crafting press releases, building relationships with key media contacts that might take years, sometimes years, and managing crisis. And PR job opportunities are predicted to grow by 13% in the next not a, even a decade, eight years. Now, have you found the position that surprised you the most among the list? Let me know in the comments which one that was. For me personally, media buyers lead the list and I'm starting to think that I'm in the wrong line of business. <coughs> Anyways, if you did like the video and you still didn't hit the like button, make sure to do so now, subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss our new episodes, grab all the freebies you find below and I got to say bye to you now because my voice is already down. I've been down with COVID and I'm still recovering, so apologies for any audio defects you might have heard in today's episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.